250 restoration video. That's because I was recently on vacation. I went to St. Croix. It was amazing. Had an awesome time. There's really not much left to do on the MT250 before I ins uh, before I reassemble everything. There's uh, the gas tank, of course. That'll be the next video. But in this video, the seat. And I considered not even doing anything with the seat because. It really doesn't look that bad. I mean, I think it, it probably, I probably could have just put it on there and sent it, but since I'm making everything else on this bike look so nice, I think uh, I should take the time to really uh, restore each piece. So I've bought a new seat cover because this one does have some rips. And then I'm going to be repainting the bottom of the seat pan because it is pretty rusty as you can see. So this should be, should be a pretty quick, easy video in the series to make. We're just gonna be painting and uh, reupholstering. Couldn't get easier than that. As you can see, there's just these little pointy metal tabs that stab through the fabric and then you bend them down to hold it in place. So what I'm gonna do is take a flathead screwdriver and go around and bend all those up because they're gonna need to be bent up anyways to get the new seat cover on. And also this will make it easier to pull the cover off. Looks like uh, these hinges are gonna have to come off or at least, at least just this one. Yeah, I'm glad I'm changing this seat cover because the bottom kind of revealed all of its ugly secrets. It was coming off of the seat pan in a lot of different places. So this thing really would not have lasted much longer at all. It looks like that's it. All of these ones were not even attached on the other side. Wow, look at that, the foam is perfectly fine. Yeah, goodbye. This foam is really in very good shape, it's still quite soft. And then there's this rubber molding piece, which is in really good shape as well. So I will be able to reuse this. Let's see if we can get this foam off without breaking it. There we go. So this looks a little bit gross on the bottom, but that's just rust stuck to it from the metal. It's actually in really good shape. And then there's the top of the seat pan. Definitely some rust, so there was moisture getting trapped in between, but the paint's still nice and glossy, not like on the bottom. So let's take this thing outside and I'm gonna spend a little while just wire wheeling all the rust off of this thing. Here we go. Okay. There's still a few spots where the paint is glossy, like right here around here. So I'm just gonna hit those with some sandpaper real quick so that the new paint sticks. Now I've got some paint thinner in the spray bottle here. So I'm gonna spray some of that stuff on, wipe it nice and dry to clean. 
metal, get it nice and ready for paint. Don't even think about copying this, guys. This is patented technology. This is my brand new uh, touch-free painting stand. So, yeah, this is gonna. I'm gonna put this thing to work today. I just invented this. Here is my primer. This uh, seat pan still definitely has a bit of rust on it that I just could not get off, and it's not even gonna be seen. So I really couldn't care too much about getting all the rust off. So I'm using this rusty metal primer. This will be good. So let's get it on there. Remember guys, always do a few thin light coats. That's a lot better than one thick heavy coat. Okay, that's pretty good for a first coat, so I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and we'll hit it with another coat. Bam! Coat number two, primer. I'd say that looks pretty good for primer, so let's hit it with some color. The primer's had about 15 minutes to set up, so I'm gonna hit it with some color. I'm just using this random wheel paint. It's gloss black. I had it left over from a different project, so got a couple cans, I'm using it up. Let's get it on. It's the next day and the paint on the seat pan is dry. So let's get this thing all put back together. Here's the foam, seat pan. Get this back on there, just like that. That was easy. And now it's time to get the seat cover back on. Here is the seat cover, ordered it on eBay. It was only like 30 bucks, it was a really good deal. So, had to get it. Let's see what is included. Looks like that's it. Nothing else in there. It does have the Honda on the back. I thought it might not have that because I asked one guy that made seat covers and he said, it doesn't come with the Honda emblem because it's copyrighted, but I'm glad this one does and the font actually looks correct. It comes with a little uh, written up instruction page. It says these covers are installed exactly as the original were as true replacement covers. And this is all just instructions on how to get the old one off. I already did that, it's pretty easy. So, it looks like really good quality. Can't wait to see what it looks like stretched in place. But I did forget one thing. There's this plastic piece here, which must go over the sharp metal edge to protect the fabric from ripping on the metal. So we definitely need that. Let's get this on here. I gave it a good washing also, so it's nice and clean. There it is, it fit back on there very nicely. I thought I was gonna have to glue it in place, but it feels pretty snug. So I think it'll stay on there. And the seat cover will also hold it in place. There are a couple places where this protector ripped, broken, so. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this black Gorilla Tape here and just add it on over the cracked spot. Get the foam back on. And now let's get this thing on there. Obviously this is the back and here's the front. So we gotta stretch it over. 
it's supposed to be snug because you don't want any wrinkles in this stuff. So that would look very bad. <laughs> there it goes. Definitely takes a bit of force to get that on there. Now let's flip it over. And I'm gonna want to bend these tabs up a little bit more. And we're gonna start with the back center. There we go. Back center is in place. Pull it really tight. Nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the front tabs on. Our front tabs tightened down. Okay, the front is all, all tightened down. Now let's get the back ones in place. Okay, that's the whole back in place. Looking pretty good. Hopefully these wrinkles will go away as I pull the side ones tighter. Looks like I am gonna have to pull off all of this uh, hardware, the hinges and stuff, so that I can get the seat cover in behind them. And also the latch on this side's gotta come off. Now we can continue. So my technique is just using my whole body to press down on the foam to compress it. And then I pull fabric very tightly, stab it on, then bend the tab down. Now I'm gonna reinstall the hinges. Oh, there's these three little rubber grommet things that go here, I think. It's actually supposed to be two more, one on each side here, but when I was uh, wire wheeling this thing Yesterday one of them flew off and I, I have no idea where it went. I'm gonna get a bit of super glue on this thing Just to glue it in place Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I've got the seat Reupholstered got the new seat cover on also painted that seat pan on the top and bottom I think it came out really nice. This is really going to look great on the bike. I just can't wait to get this thing reassembled. I'm sure you guys are itching to see the reassembly as well. Hopefully soon, very soon, that will be happening. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below what you think. Also, if you have any tricks on installing seat covers like this, definitely put them down in the comments below. I think the best trick that I learned in this video was to push down on the foam as you're installing it because then when the foam uh, decompresses it's going to give you a nice tight fit. I think it came out really good. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to stay in the loop with all of my restoration videos. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And I had a really fun time with this short little quick restoration video. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out.